Hello everybody, welcome back. Curve Bubbles is here with a massive 2v2 matchup, this time featuring, let's see here, Warlord of the Lowlands as Arverni and Brothers as Gate. We've seen them once before, uh, a few videos ago, and they are taking on Rome and Galatia. Rome is Altred and Galatia is Ragnar. So this is a, a Total War League versus non-Total War League battle. So uh, put this in slow motion, eh, well, Maybe we'll pause and take a peek at the armies really quick. Pelt Slingers, four Warlords, four of them. Four Levy Freeman on the front. Two Kelt Warriors on the flank, three Chosen Sword. It's like two Oathsworn Center with four Heavy Horse and the Noble Horse General, so not messing around there. Here's Gate and Brothers, two Dacian Bowmen, Falksmen in the back. Ooh, some Noble Horsemen. like to see that. Looks like three Horse Archers. And then the front line, some spears, heavy spears, so, uh, oh, and armored spears, so going with a spear front line. I like to see it. Axe warriors, three of them. Uh, two noble swords, make it three, and then a fourth axe warrior. Here is Galatia and Ragnar. We love Ragnar. Two Galatian riders, two levy freemen, like four Galatian legionaries, three Syrian archers, the noble horse, and of course, you gotta bring those mercenary Cappadocian cavalry, two of them with the four Galatian swords, two spears, and he is looking mighty. Here's Rome, would Waffle approve? That is my that is my question always. Three Balearic Slingers, two Numidian Cav. It's like he's got an Evocati front line, three of them, with a Vet Legionary back line, two, three, four, and five. Two Velites with four Vigilates. Pretty interesting, Rome. Um, <laughs> very, very balanced. No, no cavalry. And uh, these Vigilates who are Pretty much worthless, um, but uh, you know if you want to bring some slingers and some missile, you're probably going to need a sacrifice in the melee department. But uh, yeah, this is—I like to see this. You never see skirm cav as Rome, so uh, pretty intriguing there. As we're going to get underway of this battle, only eight minutes on the clock for a two v two, so that is uh, probably this is going to be hard hitting, quick, swift. You know, faction wise, you're looking at Roman Galatia. If I'm picking based off the factions, I like Roman Galatia. Um, it, it's tough to stop the melee of Rome and Galatia. Two of the best melee contingents in the game as the Bow Horsemen. Firing upon the Galatian Riders. Not hitting anything on that first volley. Good little move from Ragnar. As Brothers wants that one back as he moves his men back around. Still some... Ooh, another fire. And another miss. Magnificent micro, but we'll see if he can keep it up. It's you know, it's it's one thing to dodge a couple But uh, can you keep dodging them? Can you keep making your enemy waste? Can you keep making your enemy frustrated? That is the question here is there's a direct hit killing 10 and it is Ragnar who misses his volley We'll see if he continues to pursue These horse archers have some nice distance and are getting some good shots Killing one without a volley as Galatia catching up scrim cab of Rome lingering Watching, waiting for the proper time to strike as these riders, oh boy, getting completely picked apart. Ragnar, for some reason, still committing. I, I think that's a losing battle. He is getting lit up. Here comes some heavy spear. I don't, I don't know if those guys have Pillum. I don't think they do. As they try to just, just run in. The riders know if they can hit the horsemen, they will deal the damage in melee. But the bow horsemen dismantling and crushing the Galatian riders, or the Galatian raiders of Ragnar. And that is a rough start for that man. His skirm cav decimated, crushed, killed, and slaughtered. Now, Gate used a lot of arrows fending off those men. But uh, now he can move them around in a nice little flank, shoot in the back, maybe put some pressure on the Cappadocian. Always, always a pain to deal with uh, skirm cav or you know arrow cav in the back. Never, I never enjoy it. As the Blaric Slingers taking aim to the Celt Slingers of Arverni. A four heavy horse here, probably gonna expect to, you know a big, big charge, big movement, big momentum from Arverni when the time is right. But uh, you know you're going up against Rome. You're going to go up against the might of Rome as these Dacian bowmen dismantling again another unit of Galatia. 
town to go to the Levy Freeman, but they were routing and they said, meh, I'm feeling good. I'm not routing today. Not today. Not today, they say, as they continue their relentless push. Ragnar trying to get the upper hand as, whoa. Is he going to send him? Okay, sending them back. The Falksman probably going to get a few kills here, a few kills there. As the Legionaries in to counter those men. Legionaries into the Axe Warriors. Like to see that matchup. Very, very solid melee matchup. Let's see what these lead. Oh, oh no. Where are they going? Engage from the melee and then the cavalry. Completely missing the mark there is Ragnar. Maybe I don't, had one too many adult beverages as he pushes his four melee contingent deep to the left. Got an Axe Warrior to worry about. This legionary going for the backs of the Axe Warriors, letting the Noble Sword hit him where it hurts. As the skirm battle rages on the right side. Surprise Rome not sending some support. A big melee there could potentially take out Tay. As his sword's taking more damage from those bow horsemen. Four minutes left on the clock. Nice charge from that noble hor or noble horseman right into the swords, down down them to 91. As now these swords facing the might. Ooh, that's a big hit. The poor horse and poor horseman. Shame to see. As they have 79 kills, 42 still standing. The Cappadocian have some options. Some nice uh, decision, you know, a decision to make. Which way is he going to go? Oh, so here comes Rome. Here come the heavy horse of the Arverdi. Magnificent timing, as you see. Here come the horse. Here come the melee. Will Rome have a counter? They'll just take a nice grunt to the face. No counter charge. And it's the Arverni Barbarians who are getting the charge, and Relentless has been used. Melee damage is up. Still might not be able to match the Roman melee damage. That's a nice flank here from Galatia. In comes the Noble Sword. Looks like that sword was taking some arrow fire from those Syrians down to 103. Is these men shooting, probably issuing some major friendly fire, shooting straight in the backs of his own men. As it's Arverni who has found the gap, he can go whichever way he pleases. Lyric Slingers and the Vlites firing upon the enemy. I'm pretty sure you want to get your Vlites to the side. I don't think they're as effective, you know, skirm, even Slingers or Arrows. I don't think they're as effective from straight behind your own units. I think you're going to take some friendly fire. But, uh, <laughs> so be it. As it looks like that Cappadocian trying to engage the Noble Horse, but, uh, not paying off this Cappadocian at 51 Galatian Spear in not a good sign if you're having to send in a Galatian Spear it's this noble horse now getting to get in crushing trying to crush that double sword of Gete this right flank let's see how our Verni is doing looks like the melee no doubt uh, in my mind that they're really going to do a good job as they deal some death blows Event Legionaries now can dismantle that Levy Freeman. As our Verni's in with his horse, heavy horse and noble horse, they have found the flank and the rear of Rome. Not good. Anytime, even if you're Rome, if you're getting flanked, you're going to have a bad time. As in they come, major wins for our Verni. I see a huge central win with those men. They can easily clean up those Evocati. Oh, sword massive. Rome dwindling as the Galatian general. They found a gap here. So we'll see if they move, try to get some slingers. It is looking good for brothers and Lord Lowlands, praise be, as they continue their battles. Syrian archers caught by the noble sword, not the pleasant experience. Look at that, fire arrows on the Levy Freeman. That's uh, definitely, Oh, that didn't affect them. He actually only affected his own unit. But uh, you didn't really see fire arrows. That's a that's a pleasure to see. Even if it was, even if they fired upon their own unit, which makes no sense, it is still a blessing. As the noble sword into the heavy horse, 45 seconds left on the clock, and I think we have a victor. Arverni taking care of business on Rome. That is not easy to do with Arverni. Is there some good numbers up and down the on the board? I saw the Oshwar, the high kills. See this Oswald at 100. I think a spider just fell on me mid commentary. That is wonderful. Noble Horse 108. As they 
kind of on the back. That's a weak charge. But they're still celebrating. They know a victory is upon them as it is finished. Total War League members going down. A shame. Poland's and brothers should get into the Total War League. That's uh, that's what I think. Bros B as he just whacked that man in the face. That is a horse's ass. That is not the man another man whacked. Praise be. We love death. We love destruction. As they took care of business. Not even more than a thousand kills for Ultrad or Ragnar. There's your stats. The heavy horse doing a good job. The slingers too surviving and thriving. It's the Ostworn who held firm. Getting the kills required and necessary. 173. Wow. Those guys did a good job. Definitely found the flank of the Romans. As here's Gate, those horse archers taking care of Ragnar's skirm cav, low kills in the Cappadocian, very low. And the Syrians, decent, but um, probably expecting more, especially from a 590 coin unit. They didn't get the job done. There's Ultred. His melee did decent. Look at those vet legionaries. What happened to them? 24 kills only. And that is a lot. Or should I say, a little damage. But uh, guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, please comment, and subscribe. It would mean a lot to the Emperor. Until next time, glory be upon thee, and glory to the Empire.